So, hello. Today we're going to be observing and recording our local area using our sketching skills. South Norwood is a very busy community. Can you name five places or buildings that you would find in South Norwood? Pause the video and make a list of places that you might find. So I thought of Stanley Halls, the library, Clock Tower, Norwood Junction Station, and of course the Country Park. Here are some photos of those. We're going to be thinking about the clock tower today and how we might sketch it. So our activity today is to sketch our local landmark, the clock tower. Whenever you want to sketch something, you need to begin by looking at the thing. What do you notice? Pause the video for a moment and think about what you notice about the clock tower. So I've got a picture here. You might live close enough to be able to go and see it on your daily walk. But here's my picture. I'm looking at how tall it is. I'm looking at the detail on the column and I'm looking at the clock. There's lots of different details. So I had to go at sketching it. I've got my paper in portrait, so it's taller rather than wider, because that's what my object looks like. And as I'm drawing, as I'm sketching, I'm looking at the picture and making sure that I'm not just drawing it from what I remember it looking like, I'm actually drawing it as it looks. Thinking about the detail that's on the column, putting some of it in here. What do the numbers look like on the clock face? What do we call those numbers? So I'm putting in detail. I can come back and put more detail in afterwards. I might want to change it later. I don't know. I might want to add bits or take bits out. So when you're sketching, things that you can consider to help you. So I use my paper in portrait mode. That's for this picture. It might be if you've got a wide picture, you would use a uh, landscape. Draw what you see. So keep looking back at the picture or the object as you sketch. Don't press too hard with your pencil because if you want to make changes, it might be hard to rub it out. Notice the details. What do the numbers look like on the clock face? Are there different patterns on the column? What details do you notice? Be resilient. Remember, this is one of our personal goals. Sometimes your drawing goes wrong. Mine do sometimes goes wrong. That's okay. Just need to try again. Good luck. 